Our state is one of the most beautiful and unique states in the USA. With diverse geographies, the historic Route 66, unforgettable restaurants, and some of the greatest people on the planet. We want to show you why traveling within the great state of Oklahoma is a great idea. So come join us for thousands of miles over the next year, from Broken Bow to Black Mesa. This is the Oklahoma Road Trip. From Herd on Herd in Edmond, we head south down I-235. Today's first stop, a world-class water sports venue located right in the heart of Oklahoma City. It was about 15 years ago, and I thought, you know, this could be something really unique and special for Oklahoma. Let's try to invent a really unique, world-class water sports venue, yeah. something that hadn't been done like this anywhere. It's been really a, a remarkable development over the last 15 years and really believe this has become a differentiator for Oklahoma. You hop in a boat with your guide, you take a conveyor belt up to the top and ride down the channels. It's bumpy, it's fun, it's wet and then you go down this last big drop and do it all over again. So we have a six story tall obstacle course and the zip line across the river and back. It's the tallest right. obstacle course of its kind in the world. That is impressive. It all is right. impressive. <laughs> I think this is a pretty gnarly harness. Very safe. That's, that's what Clancy tells me. It's Clancy, right? Yes. That's what Clancy tells me. I love you, Oklahoma. Here we go. Woo! You know, it wasn't just about putting water in the river. To me, it was a little bit about changing our culture, building more of an outdoor culture for Oklahoma City. And that led to us becoming an Olympic training site. We're the only river in the country to be an Olympic training site. We have athletes from all over that come here to train here, along with just anyone who wants to have fun. Well, that's what's really cool about this whole venue. It's completely authentic. Anybody can come out and enjoy it. It's something for everyone. From the rapids at Riversport, we journey north on I-35 until we reach another one of the area's main attractions, the Oklahoma City Zoo. You know, Oklahoma City Zoo is an amazing treasure for the people of Oklahoma. We are a low-cost attraction. We're very family-oriented. Really, it's about education. We also have wild encounters. You sign up for a wild encounter ahead of time, and at 10 o'clock in the morning, you can go and you can actually get in behind the scenes, learn more about the bears individually, oh, wow. and you get to sit there and you can feed the bears by hand. The animals bring people in, but it really is our staff and the messaging that we put out there that really impacts our guests. Our goal is to prevent disease, of course, so we do routine health exams on a regular basis on all of the animals here at the zoo. And so when we're doing those, we bring them in and we announce that to the public and they can plan ahead of time and come on in and get to see those as they're happening. And we have things for everybody to do. It doesn't matter whether you're into the educational side, whether you want to just see the animals, whether you want to play. We try and incorporate that into everything we build out here and every attraction that we have for our guests. After saying goodbye to our friends at the zoo, we head south, back into the heart of downtown Oklahoma City. Our final stop, dinner at the Jones Assembly. So we are at the Jones Assembly in Oklahoma City. We just really wanted to create a space that just felt right multiple times of day for multiple different settings, winter, summer, spring, fall, and for all types of people. So the idea was to just create a very inviting space, a great atmosphere for whatever we want to do, whether it be dinner or lunch. If you come to a concert, you get a great concert experience, but you also get some really great food still. It creates a different experience from that standpoint. You know, really we make everything from scratch here. So yeah. uh, we spend a lot of time, a lot of love goes into it. Um, and the same goes for our food. So our food kind of leans towards more of a regional cuisine yep. uh, with a little bit of a rustic feel. And then, you know, we have a lot of other things like our dips and spreads and, and our pizzas. And we kind of bring in a lot of different cuisines, but put our spin on it, a little bit of Oklahoma flair on it. This is for the rest of the trip. So cheers. 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 Interesting. I know they say it's deviled eggs, but I'm in heaven right now. This is the best okra I've ever eaten. We're able to really create a unique set of dishes that kind of speak to a lot of different people. You're able to enjoy in large groups, small groups, whatever you want. On today's road trip, we experienced firsthand some of the fun and excitement that Oklahoma City has to offer. We started our day flying high at Riversport OKC. This state-of-the-art facility is quickly becoming the premier destination for tourists and Olympic athletes training for competition. 
After drying off, we spent some quality time with our four-legged friends at the zoo. The Oklahoma City Zoo is also home to a one-of-a-kind museum, a zooseum, where visitors can explore the history of the zoo over the last hundred years. Finally, we ended our day with a relaxing dinner at the Jones Assembly, a restaurant and venue overflowing with history. And fun fact, the building was previously home to the Fred Jones Model T Assembly Plant, and that's where they get their name, the Jones Assembly. Join us next time as we head back east. We're stopping in Catoosa, so you know we'll snap some photos of the famous blue whale that sits right off Route 66. Then, we'll commune with nature at Redbud Valley. And finally, we'll settle in with an unforgettable dining experience at Molly's Landing. We'll see you then.